Unit 21 Test 1. Let's listen. People are checking into a hotel. What do they have to do? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. Hi, my name is Sue Thompson. I'd like to check in. Thompson. Yes, here's your reservation. You paid for the room in advance, right? Yes, I paid for it last week when I made the reservation. Do you need to see my credit card? No, that's fine. Could you just fill out this registration form for me? Sure. 2. Hi, my name is Phil Mason. I'd like to check in. Just a minute, please. Ah, yes, you're with the computer conference, aren't you? Yes, I am. Could you show me your company ID, please? Sure. Here it is. 3. Hi. I'd like a room, please. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Can I have your name, please? Yes, it's Mark McLean. Can you spell your last name for me? It's capital M-C, capital L-E-A-N. Okay. Wait a moment while I find a room for you. 4. Hi. Do you have a reservation for me? My name is Sarah Hogan. Let me check the computer. Yes, Ms. Hogan. Here you are. You'll be staying with us for six nights, is that right? Yes, that's right. Could I pay $200 cash and the rest with my credit card? Certainly. Could I see your passport first, please? Sure. Here you go. 5. Hello, I'm Matt Peterson. Hello, Mr. Peterson. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I think so. I don't see it here. Do you have a confirmation number? Yes, it's 77249. Do you need my credit card? No, this will be fine. Oh, yes, here it is. Matthew Peterson. Three nights. That's right. 2. Let's listen. Sophia is talking about her hotel room. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. How's your room, Sophia? It's fantastic. I reserved a standard room, but when I checked in, there weren't any of those rooms left, so I got a deluxe room for the same price. A deluxe room? Great. What's it like? Well, it's actually a three-room suite. One large bedroom and a large living room with a couch and a large screen TV with a DVD player. It's great. Sounds wonderful. Is the bathroom nice, too? Oh, yes. The bathroom is huge, and it's very clean. How's the view? Well, the view is pretty disappointing, actually. All I can see is the highway. But I can just close the curtains, and I'm in my own world. Sounds fantastic. Unit 22 Test 1. Let's listen. People are making announcements about traffic conditions. What traffic problem are they describing? Listen and write the correct letter. 1. There are a lot of cars on the road today because of the championship football game. So leave early because it'll take you twice as long to get wherever you're going. 2. We just had a report that a northbound and a southbound car ran into each other on Highway 24, just west of Eureka. If you're in that area, slow down because emergency vehicles will be coming through. It sounds like a very bad accident. 3. And there's been an accident downtown at Oak and Washington Streets. A driver ran into a traffic light pole. Now all the traffic lights in that area are broken. If you can avoid the area around Oak and Washington, please do so. 4. Meanwhile, a section of Interstate 55 is closed today for repairs. Please use Highway 23 instead. 5. Route 17 has been very icy, and we just had a report of a car that is overturned. If you're driving on Route 17, please be very careful. 
The icy conditions will continue throughout the day. 2. Let's listen. People are talking about how they get to work every day. How does each person get to work now? Listen and circle the correct answer. 1. How do you get to work, Joe? Well, I used to drive my car every day, but the roads were so congested that I was always late for work. I could have made it to work faster on a bicycle. But I don't have a bicycle, so I started taking the subway. I've been riding it for about two years now. The subway? Do you like it? Yeah, it's all right. I always get a seat, and it only takes 20 minutes to get from my house to work. 2. How do you get to work, Robin? On foot. It only takes about 30 minutes. Have you always walked to work? No. I started about four months ago because my doctor told me I needed to get more exercise. 3. How do you get to work, Ellen? Well, I used to always take the subway, but recently they started a ferry service across the South River. So now I just walk a few blocks down the street and get on a boat and cross the river. That sounds like a fun way to commute. It really is. 4. I used to drive, just like everyone else, but then I realized I could kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? Well, I used to drive to work and then drive to the health club and exercise for an hour before going home. I figured if I jogged to work and back, I wouldn't have to go to the health club, and I also wouldn't get stuck in traffic. How's it working out? So far, so good. 5. I used to be a subway rider, but I had a bad fall down the steps one day. How do you get to work now? I take the bus. It takes the same amount of time, and I get to look out the window. It's much more interesting than the subway. Unit 23 Test 1. Let's listen. People are describing their roommates. Listen and circle the word that best describes each person. 1. Ross is not bad as a roommate. The best thing about him is how he always washes the dishes and sweeps the floor and generally keeps things really clean and orderly. 2. Annette is a really fun roommate. She has lots of friends and is always inviting them over to watch a video or have dinner. 3. Henry? Well, I don't know him very well yet. He pretty much keeps to himself. I know he studies a lot and does well in his classes. I hope to get to know him better as time goes on. 4. Teresa is an ideal roommate. If I ever need help with my schoolwork, or someone to loan me a few dollars, or someone to just listen to my problems, she is always there. 5. Well, I can't say Fred is the best roommate in the world. He leaves his dirty clothes all over the bathroom floor, he never cleans his dishes, and his room is a complete disaster. 2. Let's listen. People left voicemails for their roommates. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. 1. Hey, Matt. This is Tony. Could you do me a big favor? I left my history notebook on my desk. Can you bring it to class with you? I have to talk to my professor before class, so I can't get back to the room to get it myself. Thanks. 2. Hi, Allison. This is Tanya. I have a favor to ask you. Can you buy some snacks for our French club meeting this afternoon? I was supposed to buy them, but I forgot. Thanks so much. 3. Hi, Will. This is Steve. Listen, I've invited Ted and Luke to come over and watch the game on TV tonight. They're going to arrive around 8.30. Can you order two pizzas? I'll be in class until 8 o'clock, so I won't have time to order them. Thanks a lot. 4. Hi, Pam. This is Lydia. I need to ask a favor. Can I borrow your leather coat tonight? 
I have a date with Justin. You know, that cute guy in my biology class. I know you're going to the library to study this afternoon, so I wanted to catch you before you left. Thanks. Five. Hi, Gerald. This is Justin. You know that great shirt you bought last week? I wondered if it would be okay if I borrowed it tonight. I have a date with Lydia, that really cute girl in our biology class. All my clothes are dirty, and I don't have time to wash them. If you let me borrow your shirt, I promise I'll dry clean it and give it back to you just like new. Thanks. Talk to you later. Unit 24 Test 1. Let's listen. Frank is telling Lisa about his vacation. Listen and number the events from 1 to 5 in the order they took place. How was your trip to Miami? Well, it could have been better. Really? What happened? Well, first, I missed my flight. I had to wait five hours for the next flight. I was so angry. But you made it to Miami safely? Yes, I made it to Miami, but my bags didn't arrive. I got them back four days later. That's too bad. Did you spend any time at the beach? Yes, I went to the beach on Monday, and I lay in the sun all day. And then I got sick. Sunstroke. I was in bed for three days. Oh, no. Was the rest of your vacation any better? <laughs> Not really. After I felt better, I went sightseeing in South Beach, but I lost my wallet that day. I'm sure it was stolen. Oh, Frank, what else happened? You're not going to believe this, but on my way back to the airport, my taxi was in an accident. Were you okay? Yes, I was fine, and I didn't miss my flight back home. I was so lucky. Two, let's listen. Courtney is describing her recent trip. Are these statements true or false? Listen and check the correct answer. Well, last year I took my family on a trip to New York City for the first time. We were a little nervous because we thought that the city would be really dangerous, but it was actually quite safe. We went all over the city and never felt scared. We got to see New York skyscrapers, museums, and stores, and eat ethnic food in several great restaurants. The people were so nice and helpful everywhere we went. We were really glad we decided to go because we ended up having a great time. But, yes, everything in New York City is very expensive. Damn. 